this is indeed a special day. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, students to this event today, exciting event we have. And of course, President Dr. Faye Myers, thank you for being part of this announcement because this is what we see as a gift in a general and for the whole community and region. Well, I certainly want to thank the media for joining us today because this is a message that we want to get out. This is a message that we want to carry forward to this whole region around Yorkton, around Malwell, around Kamsack, Fort Pell, Estrades. It's very important that everyone knows what we have to offer within our local area. And of course, also, we have to acknowledge the fact that it's going to take a contribution from everyone to make this a success. Labor trends suggests that a Trades and Technology Centre is urgently needed within our region today and also into the future. Approximately 90% of the apprenticeship trades in the Yorkton and Melville area are experiencing a shortage of skilled labour. And I think we all know that personally just by picking up the phone and trying to contact someone. And we hear it continuously from our business community in the recruitment efforts that we are trying to take place to bring people to our community and our region. Today, the city is announcing that it is donating 20 acres of land to the Parkland College at a value of $3.48 million to be used as the future site of a new trades and skills center. The city council, which Council Parent is part of, strongly believes that this is a valuable investment that will bring us a huge return. And over time, by training our young people at home and giving them the skills to meet the employment requirements of our local and regional commercial businesses. This is not an announcement for today, but this is an announcement for the future. And this is an announcement not only in a sense for the students that are here today, this is an announcement for the students of the future. How often I go out into the community in the past years and talk to parents or talk to grandparents that are excited for the potential of the college, that are excited to see the ability for their their youth returning here for jobs, the potential for the youth that exist here today and live here, for the potential of remaining here. No longer are we the place that you want to be from, but we are the place that you want to be at. Thank you. This gift from the city is huge to move our whole project forward, both locally and also provincially with the Saskatchewan government. And so into the future, uh, once we build this, the, we will be able to continue developing the labor market, uh, bringing new training wherever it's required. Colleges, you know, we respond to where the need is. And so this will be a, a, a building, a construction that can uh, set, sunset certain programs and start new ones. And so as the future goes on, there will be new careers come along and we will address those as well. It's wonderful. It's, it's a wonderful start, a wonderful step on the direction towards building the Trades and Technology Centre. We had uh, worked with the city for some time on looking for an appropriate and, uh, location uh, for them and for the college, and, and this one is certainly a very, very prime location for the college to <laughs> expand. It's, it's a huge need, and it's because of the industry demand for skilled labour and the labour force. So in order to be able to do practical hands-on training for the, for the trades, which is required in the metal trades, the construction trades, the mechanical trades, all of those, if you look on SAS Jobs Net, are in huge demand right now and have been for some time. And so we need to get on with this and build this trade centre for more, for more labour market, more graduates, more trades people out in the labour market. Well, there will be 350 graduates each year in uh, primarily the trades area and power engineering area. So uh, the, the, the actual uh, amount that the government is saying is this region needs a thousand new tradespeople every year for the next 10 years at least. This will only be 350, so it won't really meet the full demand, but it will certainly go a long ways to uh, to uh, moving, moving graduates through the system. The capital campaign locally is going very well and we are still working with our ministry, Advanced Education and the Saskatchewan government for uh, additional funds to move it forward. The council had no problem making a donation of this nature. We've seen the return on the investment uh, for the people of Yorkton, people of this region. Um, reality is 
the skills-based training is so important to business, which creates jobs, which uh, and takes and develops the basis of the well-being of our families in this area. So we had no problem making a decision of this nature. This discussion has taken place probably for a few years now. Mm -hmm. uh, it was brought to fruition at Council some time ago, but we thought that this would be a good time to announce in preparation for one as a capital campaign fundraising because mm -hmm. it's going to uh, need to private investment. And the second piece of it is to uh, identify the fact of the region's contribution, the private sector's contribution, because it's also going to require provincial dollars uh, with the budget coming in April next year. Well, we needed ample land for growth. Um, a p key piece of this is uh, growth in the sense of what we develop today at phase one of the college. Uh, there would possibly potentially be as we go forward in years to come as this region grows, as the demand grows for training and education, that the reality is there may be other phases. But also there is a there is a component to housing that is required. So this land has the capacity to grow with the college. In, in, the, in the process of planning and good planning, you always do look to the future and that's what we are doing with this land. 20 acres gives ample piece of property for future development.